Now to heat my shop the redneck way, I had to make a bigger barrel stove. Well, kind of. It still uses three barrels. And a long horizontal pipe to make it more efficient. So I don't like to spend any money to be warm. Especially when I'm fixing junk like this. Well, being the fun-loving redneck that I am, I like fast cars and fancy cars. Well, I'm too cheap to own one of those too, so rat rods are cool, so for free, I built myself a fast rat rod. 350. Works great. But in the spirit of free and cheap, it's got a minivan front end and a trunk lid for a hood. And cuz I don't want didn't want to spend my own money and I'm cheap. I rented out 65 acres of my property to a local farmer for 9,000 a year so that, well actually 8,800 a year so that he could plant his corn here or whatever so he could pay my mortgage off on my farm so I didn't even have to use money in my own pockets to make the payments. Sweet. Well now I'm arriving at home. Home sweet home. This is what I bought when my dad kicked me out 23 years ago. But because I'm so cheap, after I got divorced, I duplex the house and my tenant lives upstairs. That's her car. And she pays me $900 a month to live there. And then 23 years ago after I bought the house, I decided to quit my job as a machinist and become a full-time garbage picker slash repairman and that's how I've been making my very good living since then. Well, now that I'm home, let's see if Kitty's around. Might be feeding time. Kitty! 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 Oh, there you are. Look what I got. Come on. Redneck cat food. Yeah, you want it? You want to go get it? Look. No, there's one happy kitty, and I just saved 25 cents. That's, that's the way you do it, and desserts for later on. Do you want one too? Kitty, look, it's one for you. Well, to save more money, I heat my garage with a wood stove, and of course I burn free wood. And I have some more of my garbage picked and repaired appliances here that I make a living from. In London, I burn skids. The factories give them away for free. I like them because compared to the logs at the farm, they fire up really quick. So when I've got to work on something, I've got instant warm garage in about 15 minutes. And my other van, unmodified, just a V6, 1989. Bought it for a hundred dollars too eight years ago. The air conditioning still works. I love it. I spend less than two hundred dollars a year maintaining each vehicle. The white one I purchased seven years ago still driving. I've never got a shortage of lawnmowers to cut my grass with as I find these in the garbage too and fix them up. So I live at the back door of my place. I installed new energy efficient doors and windows save money. Now of course being a garbage picker and trying to save money most of the stuff in my house I got for free like my furniture, my washer and dryer you know I just pick them and fix them. My dishwasher, my stove, my fridge, my beer fridge, my other beer fridge my nice flat screen color TV, all from the garbage. And, of course, since I'm cheap and I like to save money on heat, and I have so much free wood, I have an Elmira wood burning stove insert in my rec room so I can bake my cells at night and feel really warm. And one of the most scary things is when it comes to groceries. I run my whole household. That includes cleaning supplies, cat food, groceries, everything for a hundred dollars a month. And I don't eat every I don't eat three meals a day. I eat one or two. Well, uh, I do that kind of on purpose so I don't gain weight. I'm six feet, 180 pounds, and I want to stay that way. If I eat three meals a day, I start getting fat. 
You want to come in? Well, where's your mouse? Yeah, where's your mouse? Come on. I think eating less is more healthy. Now the scary part. To conserve water, I only flush after five peas. When I have a bath or a shower, I put the cork in and save the water in the winter time because I let it stay in the tub till it gets cooled off and that means the heat release from the cooling water goes into my house and helps heat my house. I paid for that heat and I'm not going to let it go down the drain. And my furnace which is running now. I've readjusted the pressure on the valve so that it runs at a lower pressure, smaller flame. And then this is the exhaust pipe. The exhaust pipe temperature is lower. Well, that means more heat is going into the house than out the chimney. So I've actually reduced my heating bills by 15% per month, so that saves me money too. When I dry my clothes, I dry them halfway, then I it makes them fluffy, and then I hang them up the rest of the time so they air dry with inside the house, and that saves energy too. If you notice the plugged up hole in the wall, I also vent my dryer inside of the house so in the winter time so that the warm humid air helps heat my house since I paid for that too I'm not going to send it outside and that saves money too because there's no cold draft coming down inside the dryer and cooling my house from outside even the clothes I wear most of them came from the garbage or from dead people whose family donated them to me I don't mind wearing a dead person's clothes he was probably fine before he died even their underwear even their socks what I'm wearing I got for free now that my home is paid for, I have a tenant now that when she pays the rent, it pays all my monthly bills for living in the city. So I have money to spare. That's the way to do it. If you can stand living in a basement, and even though I have 1,300 air conditioners at my building at the farm, I don't even have air conditioning in my, in my own house. That's because I live in the basement and don't need it, so that saves me money too. Now you saved me money too because if I didn't have you to give a hug to and snuggle I'd have to have a girlfriend all the time and they're pretty expensive. That would be my biggest expense. So the low cost of cat food plus supplement of redneck cat food keeps me happy and snuggly and girlfriend free most of the time. Am I the cheapest guy in the world? Doing? Am I the cheapest guy in the world? Um. <laughs> it's a video about how cheap I am. <laughs> Go back to sleep. It's only noon. I also don't buy garbage bags. I just use garbage cans. I hate using something once like a garbage bag and throwing it away. That's such a waste. I'm so efficient at home that it takes me six weeks to eight weeks just to fill up my recycle box to throw before I put it out to the curb. So if you want to be a millionaire by the time you're 40, it's easier to save money than it is to make money. So this, you've got my advice. Now I can afford anything I want. I've got everything I want. I don't even know what to spend my money on anymore. Life's been good if you don't mind being a second class citizen. I'm driving an old car. I almost forgot one more thing. I've got a beautiful new free backyard fence all from new materials my next door neighbor over there said she would like a fence and I said well I'll build it for free if you pay for it so $1265 later I'm laughing <laughs>